in this text that you are reading from a selection of various um, modernist poets. Mo uh, poetry and modernist poetry is a big part of the movement, um, and this is a collection of various styles and important authors in that movement. So you'll read from T.S. Eliot, um, Ezra Pound, William Butler Yeats, uh, Dorothy Parker, and various others to get an idea of the different ways that modernist style and art manifested in the poetry side of the world. Um, as you are reading these texts, you want to think most importantly about the key themes of the modernist tradition. Things like isolation, um, disillusionment, um, the influence of World War I, which you'll see in Seeger's poem, this conscious move away from traditional style. Um, these sorts of things are essential to the modernist movement, and they show up in various forms and fashions in each of these uh, selections. So um, for this set, <clears throat> I ask that you focus your annotations on elements that relate to that modernist tradition, that modernist style, that convey these, these ideas to us, as well as the similarities or distinctions between them. So some of these poems are going to be dealing with things like disillusionment and um, the sort of pessimism about the American dream uh, in similar and distinct ways, and other poems might be dealing with the effects of war or um, the uh, issues with wealth in the Jazz Age. So you want to think about all of the different ways that these poems connect and are in conversation with each other, as well as um, the differences that convey that sort of modernist experimentation and interest in style.